G'day, I'm Bethel and I'd like to talk to you about my crochet yarn bombing. My version of yarn bombing is to crochet cosies for the rocks and I get them from the local creeks or the beach. All you need to get started is a hook and a ball of yarn. My passion for yarn bombing is started by collecting nice shaped rocks ones that can fit in your hand and sometimes I even collect those that can fit in a bucket. Now don't forget all you need is that ball of yarn and a crocheting hook and away you go. There are only four main stitches in crochet. We usually start with a magic circle and then we'll do a slip stitch to start and then we'll do a chain, this is a chain and then a double crochet is this guy see you just pull him through and pull him up and pick up a loop and then we have a treble which is uh, round the hook through the hole pick up another thread through two through two loops, see you just pick up one loop through those two loops and through those two loops. There are many variants to these. It is wonderful to see that this art form is still being taught and loved by the younger generation of today. We have just celebrated Worldwide Knit in Public Day. Now this happened on the 11th of June 2011 where folks internationally got together and they crocheted and they knitted and then for the first time this year, they yarn bombed everywhere. Cozies for trees, light poles, bridge railings, even slats on buses. I have been known to crochet any time, anywhere, be it a bus, a train, at the coffee shop, or sitting down by the creek in the bush. For me, I love to put something of myself into the landscape. I do it anonymously and unbeknownst to anyone just like an angel has left it to be discovered. I honestly believe that folk get pleasure out of seeing usual objects changed by mankind in a loving, colourful way. 